Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a client's chakra reading. And we are going to focus on the seven chakras in your body, which are energy points. And so before we start, I'm just going to pull out all of the chakra cards so that we could have a visual for you. Um, because not everybody knows what those are or the proper colors and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go through my psychic tarot and pull out the ones that we're going to need. Um, for this reading, we'll be working with the psychic tarot as well as the Rider weight. Um, okay, I think that's all of them. So we'll be working with the psychic tarot, the Rider weight, which is this one. Um, and then also the angel answers. I pulled this one out last minute. Um, I was feeling really attracted to it. I was actually looking for it the other day, <laughs> but um, I couldn't find it and it was actually hiding behind another deck. So um, I'm glad I found it. It's a really pretty one. So we'll be using this one as well. And basically, we're just going to look into all seven of the chakra points. So the first half of your reading, um, which I'm sure you've already watched because um, I'll tell you to watch them in order. <laughs> so if you haven't seen the other one, please watch that one first. Um, but the first half of your reading, we were talking about your energy and your aura and all of that. And this next half, oh, I'm missing one. Oh no. Let's see. This looks like a miss. Oh, here it is. The heart chakra. Okay. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we were talking about the aura and everything. This second portion is, sorry, I just want to make sure this is clear. The second portion is about your chakra points. So the way that I do the chakra reading is I will go in order um, and we'll talk about which what, e what each one means and then I will pull cards for each one to kind of give you an idea of where your chakra is at, what the tarot has to say about it all and, and so forth. So it's an intuitive reading and it's... Um, it's just meant for you to get an idea. Put some crystals on the put some crystals on this table. It's meant for you to get an idea of um, where your energy points are at, especially for you because um, in the first half of the reading we established that the root and the crown need some extra love and care. So I'm really going to be putting a lot more emphasis on those two um, because those are the two that you need to kind of watch out for. Some, so that's what we're going to do. So the first chakra that we're going to talk about is the base or the root chakra. It is associated with the color red, okay? Um, and it's either found, I, I see it in two places. The main one is at the base of your spine or your butt. Um, and then the other location I say is at the feet. I, I always imagine my root at the feet. So um, you could, it could be either or or both, however you like to see yourself grounded. I don't necessarily see me being grounded from the butt. I, feel, <laughs> I see myself being grounded from the feet. So I usually envision my root chakra in my feet. Um, but we established in the last reading that for you, this root chakra was actually overworked. Um, and it was the reason why I was getting those sensations of your feet, your the hot feet, or like feeling like if there was any chakra that you were giving a lot of attention to, this was the one. Um, oh, being And, and then it sounds kind of weird to say oh, being overgrounded, but I feel like it's you just put too much emphasis on that one and there are other energy areas in your life and in your body that need more attention. So definitely that one I felt was overworked. And um, so we're going to see right now what the base chakra has to say. With your... Uh, 
of the cards. And then I'm gonna pull just for kicks. Usually I don't do this one for the. Um, oh, this one's actually once it was flipped over. Um, I don't usually pull angel answer cards for chakra readings, but because um, we're reading about, but well because I feel really drawn to that deck, I'm gonna use it. So we're gonna do that. Um, Actually, I want to do two. Okay, so for your root chakra, what I'm seeing here is um, mixed emotions, for one thing. Um, we have conflict, defeat, temptation, and intuition. So a lot of your trust, a lot of your intuitive um, abilities come from the root chakra when you are grounded and when you are feeling really good when you are feeling um like you know you have a handle on life and that you you know everything is going great when you feel comfortable in your home life your intuition is strong um and that and i could see that too with the hermit card and the ten of cups everything feels in place everything feels you know like you you have a, a good um a good connection with your psychic abilities now what I also am seeing here is um, the temptation at the base okay so temptations is what you know what is tempting you stability wise in your life um, I feel like when you do are when you're either there's either a fine line you're either feeling really good or you're feeling really rocky and that's what conflict and defeat is also showing me um, more so conflict and defeat and temptation I feel are what's present right now so feeling a little bit more rocky in the foundation a little bit more unsecure um, you know maybe you're thinking about moving or you're thinking about you know, doing some big change that's going to require your foundation to shift a little bit. But either way, I'm seeing that as um, something that you're being called to be strong with. And then we got the Empress and the Strength card to come with them. It's like you're being backed up. And it, to be backed up with Major Arcana cards is really big. Um, it just shows that the energy there is strong. And that spirit is basically saying... Um, Especially with the Empress card, it's kind of like mama energy is coming in to take care of you, to make sure that you're okay. The strength card with the temptation is kind of saying, don't give in to your temptations, you know. And this is like, these are not just like silly temptations, like, you know, you're tempted to um, uh, cheat on your, um, your diet or whatever. I mean, these are heavier temptations. These are like, you know, if you have... Um, difficulty with controlling your alcohol consumption or if you're tempted sexually or you know there's these are like the more serious temptations that maybe you don't always want to talk about um that are a little embarrassing for you um but it it's there and when you are tempted and if you do follow suit with it your root chakra is the one that is the first that feels the blow. <laughs> it is your foundation. It's like is ripped up underneath you. So um, when you're not grounded, everything else around you is kind of falling apart. And that's kind of how you feel when you succumb to certain temptations. Um, and so that it's like you have the strength card that's coming here. It's like you're very strong willed with it. But there are times where you are weakened. Okay. What I also see here is we have the Nine of Cups and then we also have the Queen of Swords. And Nine of Cups energy um, is showing like when you are conflict and defeat, there is, I feel this is somebody that is around you that really makes you feel more stable. There's a, either a woman figure, and I don't want to just say it's just woman because it's an empress, but there is someone around you who is very supportive and very much like mama energy or 
they are very comforting to you they listen this could be a trusted friend whoever but this person really helps you to see on the bright side with that nine of cups i'm seeing so when you are feeling rocky in foundation it is very important for you to make sure you reach out to a lover or a friend or that that whoever this person is that really kind of regrounds you again when a, a woman or a, a female figure here with the queen of swords this person kind of helps keep you in check so what I also have here is for the the angel answers it says in the near future so grounding wise if you're thinking about a re relocating or moving or you're thinking of you know doing some sort of a change um, in your foundation and your stability and, and I'm talking about with stability it's like where you live or it is your job or your income and that kind of thing um, in the near future is kind of saying like it's not quite time yet for that shift in the near future it will happen so that is the base chakra Let's start with the next one, which is the sacral. Sacral is orange. This has to do with your um, your creativity, your, some of these cards, okay. With your creativity and your ability to create, your ability to, um, it's like your sexual hormones, your hormones in general, um, your sexuality, that kind of stuff, the procreation, but also your... Um, artistic creation or self-expression so it's also associated with um, with that Ooh. so we have power mental conflict and destiny I love it so if you ever are wondering where you're like okay so you know in your solar plexus or you know your third eye it's like your intuition you you have that sixth sense but for you a lot of your major power and a lot of the destiny or your you know where you just feel like something's meant to be is coming from actually coming from your sacral chakra so that's really powerful um your gut instincts you know you feel a lot of it there. We have Page of Pentacles, the Moon, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. So there's a lot of people surrounding you, sacral chakra wise. This could be people asking questions like, when are you going to have a baby? When are you going to get married? That kind of thing. A lot of people surrounding you with that aspect. Um, uh, there might be times where you feel like it's like this is none of your guys' business. Why are you so worried about my <laughs> my uh, my life in that way? So that's you know that's one thing I see here. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to make sure that this is in focus. Um, the power card. You know you have a lot of confidence, and it's it's really cool because the sacral chakra is actually your self confidence. Um, it's your it's. It brings out a lot of that so I'm really happy to see that you know power is there mental conflict though you know maybe you are indecisive about having children or maybe you're indecisive indecisive about certain projects or starting certain creative projects and that kind of thing um, maybe you're indecisive about what where you want to be in your life and, and, and that kind of thing um, and this could also stem to with love too. You're indecisive about love. You're indecisive about, you know, what is it, what is it that you want? Do you want long-term relationship or do you just want to, just want to date that kind of thing? The destiny shows though, for me, especially when it's aligned with love, um, that you will find that person, that special someone. And this is completely assuming that you haven't already, um, because I know I've done a love reading for you before. And I want to say that we were still on the hunt for that person. Um, but you do have a, a lot of like, either this is a large social circle or you have a lot of opposing viewpoints placed on you regarding the way that you, um, you know, the way that your outlook is on love or the outlook on, on having kids and that kind of stuff. Um, 
be assertive. <laughs> Angel Answers shows be assertive. So when it comes to these people kind of getting in your business, um, I would say be assertive is kind of saying, you know, stand your ground. If you have a certain lifestyle that you want to live, if you have a certain way of the way that you, you view your love life, um, you know, you are entitled to handling it in your way. Um, don't allow outside opinions to kind of give you that mental conflict and to cause you to, to doubt. Um, you know, I feel like for you, mental conflict with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles is kind of showing that you enjoy luxury, you enjoy yourself, you enjoy having the time and the energy and the money to do the things that you love to do. Um, and settling down with family and all that kind of stuff just isn't, it doesn't attract you. It's not attracted to you. Um, you know, that kind of thing can happen later on, but I feel like right now there's a lot of pressure. I'm, I'm getting the, the feeling that there's a lot of pressure on outside people. So being assertive with what you desire and what you want out of, you know, your, um, your life is going to be key. It's going to be very important because I'm telling you right now with a lot of this outside chatter with people, um, that's going to get old real fast, especially when you do, or when you are ready to take your sacral chakra into a new phase, which is either you get a new job and you're starting a new project or you are actually dating and, you know, getting serious with someone. I feel like you're always going to have people telling you what they think you should do. So that's completely intuitive. What I'm thinking is coming up there. Next, let's talk about the solar plexus. This is yellow solar plexus rests at your body by the way sacral chakra rests at your abdomen I don't think I established that so solar plexus is in your body it is your joy point um, it's where you, the, where you laugh it is where you feel happiness it is where you feel um, love it's just the joy center of you um, yours is very strong I'm seeing with the power card, we have power again, we have stand your ground, and we have love begins. So it's kind of like the same message as what we just talked about um, with standing your ground. You're, you're really being guided to own yourself. So if that's another message I feel is coming through for you is to stand your ground, to be more comfortable um, speaking up for yourself. That's a big one. Um, because I feel like there are people who kind of take advantage of your meekness or your, um, you know, they they feel like they can tell you what to do and you don't need that. So standing your ground is important. It's also with the solar plexus to stand your ground and to be powerful. Um, it tells me you need to make more decisions based on what makes you happy and not what other people think you should do. So that's another message I feel for you. Okay, so what we have here is the love begins. Let's start with this one. Love begins. We have the star and the magician. So the process of healing, the process of, you know, all of that I feel is already done. Um, so if there were past relationships that you were needing to get over, this is the time that you kind of done that shift. You're starting to feel like you're ready, okay? Like you're ready to to take on new um, ventures and new opportunities with people, which is what the magician card I feel is is revealing. It's like you've gone through the process of healing with this star card, but now the magician is pointing towards new good things. Um, when we look at the table, the magician is actually pointing up towards power. And right with power, we have two of cups and the six of cups, which is to me, lover, okay? So to me either, and I don't know your your um, your relationship status right now, but I'll read it both ways. If you are single, this can reveal someone will be entering into your life within the next six months or so, okay? Um, and if you are in a relationship, this can show that, you know, the bond between the two of you is actually growing stronger and to the next level. So there's a lot of power there. And it's also with the process of healing with you healing from your own demons and your past and of love and trust and not trusting, um, you will actually be a much more open, 
um, an open person for love to enhance in other areas. So it's like you're naturally you were blocked before because you were so fearful of it. But now it's like you're you're blooming. It's it's a whole new phase. So it's really cool to see that. Then we have a stand your ground card, which is like what I was saying to find your voice to stick up for yourself, regardless of what other people are saying or think that you should be doing with your life. <laughs> And we have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. And I love that because to me, the Two of Swords is like you're, you are literally blocking these people out emotionally, um, verbally. You're blocking them out. You just don't want to hear them or see them, which is good. And then the Ace of Swords is like this is inspiring new ideas. And this is your ability to speak up, okay? Because Sword Suits is your um, ideas and your communication. And it's also your, on your honor and your inner truth. So to see an Ace of Swords just tells me it's like you're blocking out all of the stuff that people are saying. And you are finding your inner truth to speak up for yourself. So it's a really powerful card combo there. And then what I also see here is if you believe came up from the, from the angel answers. So if you believe, I feel a lot of this has to do with what truly makes you happy. That is the main question here with this chakra. What makes you happy? And what do you re require in life to obtain that happiness? Um, that's what I'm seeing here. So I feel like if you believe, it's like if you truly believe that you are deserving of certain things in life, you know, you will start to manifest that. And that's what the magician is all about is manifesting. So true happiness, I feel is you finding love that is genuine and real. And I think that that's what ultimately you want. And the, the, the fact that all the cards are revealing to me says you are getting ready to enter that space because you are mentally ready now you are in that mindset where you are like okay i've gone through the healing process now i'm ready for love so it's a good it's a really good place to be so the next chakra we're talking about is the heart it is associated with the color green and the heart chakra is all about love, the way that you love, the way that you express love, and the way that you allow love in, to enter your life, okay? <laughs> the angel answers card gave you recovery, which is what we were just talking about. We were just talking about how you, you know, you've gone through the healing process. You have been you know, mending your heart from past relationships and you've gone through a lot of healing and it's like you're now entering a place where you're ready for love, for the real love, you know, the real thing. So I love that the angels kind of revealed you're in recovery. It's like you're, you've been healing. So that's a good sign. I don't want to spend too much time shuffling for each one of these because this video would take forever, but we're almost done. We're like halfway there. We have truth, prosperity, begins, and patience. Those are really powerful cards. We have Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Justice, and Two of Wands. So... The cards are definitely showing that you are ready to walk out of your entrapment with the truth card. It's like you're finally seeing things for as they are, people for as they are, and the eight of swords with that is like freedom. Stepping outside of your own prison. The knight of pentacles here can be this could be a future lover or a current lover that you have that is actually helping you in this process. This person is actually giving you that inspiration. Um, let me open the window because I feel like it's a little dark. Okay, oh, it's a little better. Um, so this person is actually, you know, inspiring you. This person is, is giving you a reason to to want to open up and to want to be, you know, um, to step outside of, of fears and whatnot. So if you are in a relationship, then that, you know, that would obviously be this person. But if not, um, there is someone coming. 
prosperity begins three of cups and the end queen of swords is just like owning your power queen of swords is also about truth okay so you're owning your inner truth you're owning what you need what you require in life prosperity beginning with the heart chakra is like showing like i said new love i'm really getting that feeling of new love new relationship or the desire to just date and enjoy yourself and then we have patience, we have justice. Justice t says a lot to me. It says balance with love, but it also says um, having patience that, you know, what you deserve is gonna, it's coming, it's on its way, and it's gonna shift you with the two of wands. Anytime two of wands comes up, it's almost like you're looking for the next path. It's, a, it's like you're almost at that crossroads. You're ready to take the journey. So if you do find new love, um, get ready because you know it's gonna shift you in, in different ways. Maybe your foundation will be changing. Maybe your um, your perspective on life will be changing. Either way, there's something there's something that's gonna be different. So your heart chakra looks like it's it's good, but it looks like it's it's getting ready for some new stuff to come. The throat chakra, which is associated with the color blue. This is your communication energy. So the way that you communicate, the way that you speak. This is also like your inner truth and how you stand up for yourself. So it'll be very um, interesting to see how these cards reveal that. Because you were having issues with speaking up or you are having issues with speaking up for yourself. So we have intuition. Ooh, the universe. You're getting a lot of heavy cards, too. You're getting a lot of, like, the major arcana cards, which is good. It just shows that your, your chakra points are strong. And material harvest. So material harvest, to me, that's like you were harvesting the energy and the ability to speak up for yourself. Intuition and universe, is, to me, is like you're, you're becoming more in tune. And I even mentioned in your energy reading that you were very much, like, almost like a medium or, you know, you have that connection. If you really tap into your third eye and your intuition, um, it's going to grow. The, the, especially with the universe, it's like you're interconnected. Um, and you have that ability to communicate. My cards are upside down. <laughs> wow. So these cards, actually, the tarot is actually a whole deeper, like total different energy here. And I'm going to go with the, what I'm feeling because with the throat chakra, like I said, it's communication in your energy reading. I talked about communication with spirit. Um, I and remember we were talking about with communication with spirit, we were talking about um, how I feel like you're going to be, if you were to tap into that kind of stuff, it's like you're going to, um, in the near future, <laughs> this will happen soon. Um that you can communicate with spirit, but it's more of the ones that are lost. The earthbound souls, that, those are the ones, that's the term for it. Um, and guiding them to the light. That's what I'm seeing because earthbound or broken. You have the three of swords here. You have five of swords and eight of cups. It's like they're lost. They're trying to find their way. And then the five of swords is like they're in conflict with themselves. They're not accepting that they're dead, that kind of thing. And that goes with intuition. The world, you know, it shows like the process of healing with the three of swords. These, these are broken souls. And then there's the nine of pentacles, which represents you um, to be, you know, a leader grounding. Nine of, nine of pentacles is a very like um, independent woman. And then also with the material harvest, we have the knight of cups who brings the message of love. And then we have the seven of swords, but it's not every spirit is going to want to hear it. So I do feel like you will do spirit work, especially if you really want to get into that. Um, or maybe you have in the past and it's like something that you just didn't want to tap into. But material harvest is kind of showing that this kind of thing will come out more. Um, the more you work with your intuition, your third eye, your psychic, you know, all of that, it'll pop out. In the near future, though, because the angels are showing in the near future. But definitely your ability to communicate like that is it's strong. Um, but unfortunately, it is requiring you to deal with more of the low vibrational spirits, which is going to be why it is important that you ground and you protect yourself and you deal with, you know, things accordingly. <laughs> 
because if you are not grounded and you are dealing with low, low vibrational spirits, you are going to, um, you're going to find yourself needing to cleanse like on a daily because it's just going to be a lot of energy to deal with. So let's talk about, I'll put that here. next we have the third eye chakra, which is like my favorite. It's your psychic and your intuition, which is what we were just tapping into with the communication um, with spirit. So let's see where your um, your third eye is according to the cards. Destiny. <laughs> Trapped in fear shadow oh yeah <sighs> with that destiny card it's definitely showing that this is on oh, there's your world card again king of pentacles seven of cups five of pentacle knight of pentacle two of wands um that destiny card is showing your destiny definitely being able to connect with spirit um being tapped in intuitively that's a destiny this path, your spiritual path, it's part of you. It's supposed to be what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, they got no need to worry. Um, what I want to pay attention to is the trapped in fear. This is probably the reason why you have blocked this gift out or you um, maybe you feel disconnected spiritually like we were talking about with your crown chakra. Trapped in fear. Fear of what? Fear of the spirits. Fear of not being right with your readings. Fear of... Um, not being good enough. I mean, there's a lot of different fears that you could have. This could be nightmare fears with the shadow. It's maybe facing who you really are, that kind of thing. Um, we have the seven of cups with the five of pentacle. To me, it's like there needs to be a shift. You need to pick one path and stick with it rather than having a bunch of opportunities open. And it's nice to have, you know, multiple opportunities and backup, but you really got to focus on just one or two. And then move towards it and understand that the, the journey to that is going to be a little bit rough. The no need to worry card. The angels are kind of saying this. There's no need to worry about this. Like everything that is natural is going to come to be. Um, I do feel like this is a path that if you do tap into and you touch more on your third eye, there will be the occasional, um, you know, fork in the road where you're going to have to make a decision. Um, big changes and that kind of thing. So... Um, yeah, your third eye is meant to be, if there's anything to take from that reading, it is meant to be, you are meant to do that kind of work. You are meant to, um, tap into yourself psychically in that way. And last but not least, we were like 32 minutes in, so wait, I got to hurry on this because <laughs> I don't want this to be long. Um, the crown chakra, which sits at the top of your head, we talked in the energy reading of yours that... This crown chakra is weak. So let's see. <sighs> the angel says, let go. Fertility, the wishing game, accelerated motion. <laughs> That kind of goes hand in hand with let go. I think like what, what the cards are saying with the crown chakra is accelerated motion is like just go full force with it, with your spiritual path. Let go of maybe feeling like you have to be a certain belief system or be a part of a certain thing. Fertility and the waiting game. You know, fertility could be creation in, in, in abundance in different ways. Once you tap in spiritually, you know, you might be giving birth to um, new ways of life. Accelerated motion. If you go forward with this full force, you're going to feel really grounded and really on top of it with the emperor and the king of pentacles. You're going to feel in charge and in control. That fertility, though, you got the lovers and the queen of pen, or the, the nine of pentacles. That lovers and stuff, especially with the fertility, it's showing, you know, with love, you may be in that point where um, 
you know, discussion of creating a family or taking your lover to the next level. Like, there's a lot of beautiful growth there, but I feel like you have to have faith in all of that. If you've ever struggled with feeling like you're not fertile, that could be another reason why fertility is coming up side by side with the crown chakra. Maybe that's a reason why you're disconnected, you know, spiritually in that way. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough or you're hopeless because you can't get pregnant, that kind of thing. I mean, I'm just throwing out different scenarios here. Um, and then the waiting game below. Patience is so important, especially with the crown chakra. Your spiritual path is always evolving. Um, it's not always an easy road. Everybody like paints a picture that their spiritual journey is so positive and so beautiful but it's not always that way so re reality says it's not always that way but it will be life-changing with the world card it's you learn so much more about yourself and, and your stance in this world and what you want your life to be like but I feel like the main thing here is to let go and this is to let go of preconceived notions of spirituality or religion or faith or whatever let go of it all and just kind of be an open book and enter into this with open eyes, open arms, open heart, and just feel it out rather than, you know, constantly questioning and nitpicking and all of that. So there's potential, but I do feel like your crown chakra needs more trust. Um, and yeah, so that concludes your chakra reading, my love. I am sorry that I had to kind of go a little quick there, but, um, I didn't want it to go over 30 minutes, and so I'm, I apologize that it was a little bit longer. Um, but anyone who's watching, this is actually a two-part um, reading. It, it's the spiritual health reading, and it is available in my shop. Um, but these also come in two parts, so you can also buy them separately. There's the chakra and the aura energy reading. Um, but thank you guys for watching and to my client, I wish you all of the best. If you have any questions regarding your reading, please reach out to me in email and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye my loves.